In Christ we find the unshakable hope Our rock, our foundation, helping us to grow. Hello, welcome to my channel Judge All Nation. In this video Christian Prince will make understanding and education about Islam to all Muslims. Also Christian Prince educates Muslims that in the Lord Jesus there is truth and no other. Now let's take a look and see what Christian Prince will tell you by arguing with Muslims. Enjoy watching this video and God bless you. Mind say that it's the same speech? Of course not. Look, look at the logic, you know, I mean, just you see the stupidity. So uh, what this is, why you have hands? Why you have a feet? Allah never spoke to anybody. Hold on, hold on, not... hold on, don't, let us finish the video. So Allah have hands. Allah, so he's trying to say to you, okay, his hands is not like yours. Who care? Your hands. Maybe they are like octopus. <laughs> Who care? But Allah have hands. He's a physical being. He's not a spiritual being. Islam don't believe in a spiritual. Allah don't even have a spirit. Allah has no spirit. Can you believe it? He is just a physical being. He is a jellyfish who have no life. Because spirit means life. If you have no spirit, you are dead. Allah have no spirit. And he is not a spirit. He is a physical being. So he is a moving object, according to Muslims. Yet they claim that this object can create everything. But that object itself is not alive. Because if he is not a spirit, how he can give us a spirit? When Allah, he breathe. He breathe what? The Quran says, from our spirit. But they say he have no spirit. They claim this is a spirit. The spirit is Jibreel. But if Allah is creating everything from Jibreel, that means the Creator is not Tim, it's Jibreel. <laughs> Go ahead, buddy. Um, you not understand. I don't hear you. Your voice is very low. Can you hear me now? I hear you, but it's very low. Speak louder. Okay. Is your mother-in-law at, at home? Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, no, better. Did you kick her out? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, this is a metaphor. Ah, it's a metaphor. Ah, the hand of Allah is metaphor. <laughs> no, I can show you now tons of videos of Muslim scholars saying, no, this is not metaphor. Where you get this from? Um, I get it from. Yeah. I mean, if it's, I mean, how is it not a metaphor? You got it from. I mean, how it is. I mean, it is. How it is not metaphor. I got it from. I give you an answer. All Muslim scholars agree that this is not metaphorical. So which one is metaphorical? Be and he was, or Allah used his hands? Where does it say hand? I don't see it. Here. I created with both of my hands. Both. Yeah, that's just a metaphor. Like it's like it's a bit like when you say, you know, to your child, I created what you with the, both of my hands. What is the metaphorical like, of the word what is the metaphorical metaphorical of the word both? Yeah, it's like you know, like I created my child with both of my hands. No, no, no. You know, it's why, like it doesn't mean it literally. says both. Why both? You created your child because with your hand a... why you were masturbating? What do you mean? No, it's just hands? a figure. It's just a figure of speech. It just means that there's a lot of you have a very weird way to make babies. You use your hand. Oh, you remind no, me of it, you it, remind it, me of your prophet. Hold on, I got you. You're a prophet. He says Allah created Adam from the shoulder. Sorry, created the children of Adam from his shoulder. Correct? Ah, uh, that's a, that's a daif hadith. Uh -huh. who says daif? But uh, going back to this point. No, no, uh, we are we are in the point. This is talking about. Adam, talking about Adam was created. Uh, the children of Adam, offspring of Adam, 
were created from the shoulder of Adam, correct? I don't, I don't know. I right, look. Can, huh? can we stay on one point at a time? Oh, okay. You want to stay at one point at a time? Well, if this you, is talking about. You can stay at any point effort. if you want, but you have to give me proof of what you say. Otherwise, you are making things up. I can show you right now, tons of Islamic videos saying clearly that yes, Allah, He have hands and He created Adam with His two hands, including the girl. Her name is Sufi. Okay. okay. Let's say let's say that's true. Um, what does that mean? Well, if Allah have hands, and then Allah in the other verse, He says, uh, 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 "Be and He was." That there's a contradiction. Either I use my hands to create Adam, or I use the word "be." If I say to my food, "Be and it was," I will not need my hands. And why even I have hands? I'm God. Why you have hands? Hand is a tool. We don't only only Allah and His Messenger know best. Oh, okay, that's a good answer. That's it. I mean, I don't see why there's a problem. How you know? This... How you know all this information? I mean, this answer is amazing. Allah and His Messenger knows best. That was really good. I mean, you just. Silence us. Secondly, you just said something prove Islam to be false. Allah and His messengers know best. So, is Allah is the only one who knows, or His messenger and Allah, they knew equally? I mean, yeah, what's wrong with that? What do you mean, yeah? Yeah, I mean, Muhammad has information that we don't have, you know, so that's no, like... You are, this is not what I'm talking about. Uh, first of all, Muhammad have no information you don't have because he told you what he knew supposedly already. But the question is, if we say Allah and his prophet knows best, we just made Muhammad and Allah in the same level of knowledge. You did not say Allah and his, uh, Allah he knows best. No, you said Allah and his prophet. And when we use the word best for both, that means they have the best of knowledge, both of them, equally. And this is mean the Muslims are polytheists. They are not people who believe. They are mushrikeen. They don't believe in one God. Muhammad is God. Even the knowledge of Allah is associated with the knowledge of Muhammad. Okay, but you have to understand that... Uh... Allah said that we have to uh, follow Muhammad. This is not, will not change anything. Uh, you know, you follow Muhammad or not, what is that? Uh, you have to follow Muhammad, but you claim that Allah and Muhammad, they have the best knowledge. So Muhammad, he knows everything. You know, Allah, uh, Allah is not better than Muhammad. You did not even say Allah is the best of knowledge and then Muhammad he learned from him. No. You said Allah and his messenger knows best. Even the word best appeared at the end. Yeah, I mean, uh, look, I don't see a problem with, uh, you know, like, um, with all of that. Hmm. Let us see here what the Sheikh is saying, so we can laugh together. This is Sheikh Asim, one of my favorite laughable Sheikhs. Hundred dollar for half hour talking to him in the phone. Oh, I, I love this says, guy. Does He's Allah amazing. have Wait. two hands, feet, face, fingers, eyes? What should be our aqeedah regarding this. Zubair, does Allah see? Does Allah hear? Does Allah have a will? Is Allah alive? All of these are attributes of Allah Azza wa Jal. And because these are attributes of Allah, no one claims that these attributes are equivalent to my hearing, my seeing, See? me being alive, me having a will. No one says this. 
Allah Azza wa Jal speaks. And he spoke to Musa. He spoke to our Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. When I speak, but does anyone in his right mind say that it's the same speech? Of course not. Look, look at the logic, you know. I mean, just you see the stupidity. So uh, what this is, why you have hands? Why you have a feet? Allah never spoke to anybody. Hold on, hold on, talk. hold on. Don't, let us finish the video. So Allah have hands. Allah have, so he's trying to say to you, okay, his hands is not like yours. Who care? Their hands. Maybe they are like octopus. <laughs> Who care? But Allah have hands. He's a physical being. He's not a spiritual being. Islam don't believe in a spiritual. Allah don't even have a spirit. Allah has no spirit. Can you believe it? He is just a physical being. He is a jellyfish who have no life. Because spirit means life. If you have no spirit, you are dead. Allah have no spirit. And he is not a spirit. He is a physical being. So he is a moving object, according to Muslims. Yet they claim that this object can create everything. But that object itself is not alive. Because if he is not a spirit, how you can give us a spirit when Allah, he breathe? He breathe what? The Quran says, from our spirit but they say he have no spirit they claim this is a spirit the spirit is Jibreel but if Allah is creating everything from Jibreel that means the creator is not him is Jibreel <laughs> there is nothing similar unto him that the most you know that this is a statement in the Bible by the way but it was like a, 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 the person in the Bible is speaking about how amazing God is but doesn't mean uh, like this is the way to define God because simply uh, nothing like me according to science even my fingerprints are unique between all those billions in this earth does that mean my finger is God every inch of you is nothing like it in the world every flake of snow is different from the other flake of snow do you see when the, when the sky is uh, uh, rain uh, 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 snow Every flake, according to science, not a single one look the same. Does that mean snow is God? So they are in trouble. They reject the God of the Christians because he have a flesh. But they are God of a flesh. But his flesh is silicon. His flesh have no reason to exist. He have no spirit. He is not alive. He is a very fictional God. Nothing is like him. And he's all hearing, all seeing. So when we approve and agree that Allah has attributes of his own that are unlike any of others of his creation, then when he describes himself in the Quran by saying that he has a face, that he has eyes, that he has hands, two hands to be specific, and that he has feet and that he has fingers and the hearts are between two fingers of Allah's fingers flipping them as he wishes who are we to say no 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 Allah say who are we to say no 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 let us see other Muslims thank you Abadi for joining us Mr. Uh, Mr. Farrakhal uh, tomorrow by the way we will bring the Shia we will have debate with the Shia you can join us and you can try to debunk the Shia do we have any Muslim without to join us? Allah have two hands, Allah have two feet, Allah have... Yo, CP. Yes, uh, Vico. Are you a Muslim? I'm a Christian. Right. No, I'm a Christian, but I have a message for you. Right. Can I say it, please? Go ahead. For a few minutes. Today is my birthday, actually. And first of all, I want to thank you for sharing the truth and expose the lies. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much. And... and and also, I have a message for all of you who watch here in Discord or YouTube. Um, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed for, uh, for these Muslims about the crucifixion of Jesus. You Muslims, you deny history. Even atheists, agnostics, believe that Jesus surely is crucified. You Muslims, rewrite history. <laughs> And I want to say that Jesus Christ loves you 
and he died for my and your sins. He loves you so much, and I want to say that my Lord and Savior is Jesus Christ. I put my faith in him. I put my faith in him. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Remember, Muslims, Muhammad is in the grave. Jesus is alive. Thank you. All right, my friend. Happy birthday. Uh, Thank you. And we wish you to live long, long and be uh, good for your neighbors and everybody. You Thank you so much. With. And also, but, uh, uh, but I, I have a but, question. But I, but I have something for you about the Muslim denying the crucifixion of Jesus. In fact, the stupid Quran confirm the crucifixion of Jesus by mistake. If you go to chapter 4, verse 157, the Quran says that Allah made someone look like Jesus appear in the cross, which means the Quran confirm that someone exactly looked like Jesus was a crucified. So who is the stupid who want to believe that there is someone look exactly like Jesus, with the voice of Jesus, with the hair and the eyes and the skin, and the, the word of Jesus in the cross, to the point nobody noticed, even his mother should not notice that this is not Jesus. So this stupid Quran confirmed the Bible actually, because the Christians and everybody was there, they are witnessing what they saw. And what they saw, the Quran say clearly, that the one who was in the Quran, on the, on the cross, was someone look exactly like Jesus, because Allah, he made the perfect clone. So the stupid story in the Quran, even though supposedly is made to deny the crucifixion of Jesus, it confirm it. Because for us, the true witness is what? Is the one who saw the crucifixion of Jesus, right? So if they saw and the Quran confirmed that he looked exactly like Jesus, so the Christians never lie. So Allah uh, is, is deceiver. He's a deceiver. He lied to the Christians. He waited 600 years until Christianity spread all over. And we know that how important the crucifixion of Jesus for the Christians. So Allah, uh, 600 years, not six years, not 60 years, not 600 years, you know, he went to take a nap. And then after that, he sent Muhammad to tell us, ah, 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 ah. it was not Jesus in the cross. He looked like him. <laughs> and also, and also, I want to add, remember Muslims for what Jesus is crucified. He is crucified because he is claiming that he is God and also the son of god remember this remember exactly all right thank you my brother god bless you and also 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 please can i have uh sure, sure. I, uh please sure. one question if you are in debate and there is a um, rule if you can put one argument against islam what would it be one argument only one argument against islam the most effective islam is false <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this which, is true. Which can also, cover, I'm which so can, interested. Which can cover everything because you can check everything Allah He said, and you will find it's false. You can apply it to anything. As an example, the creation of Allah. Allah do not know how the baby is created. If Allah is God, He should know how the baby is created. Correct. And also, I'm if, so. Uh, if Allah is, if, I'm interested if Allah in is this. God, if Allah is God, He should know better that the sun does not set in murky water, and the women she have no sperm coming from her breast. He should know better. And if Allah is God, yeah. he should remember which one he created first, the mountains or the stars. One verse says the stars first, one verse says the opposite. So every every claim is enough to prove Islam to be false. But the most uh, funny thing is about the God of Islam is uh, they don't know who is their God. Like not a single Muslim, okay, today sit down and listen. Let us see if any Muslim can tell us who is Allah. They don't know. They don't know anything about him. Oh, what they knew for me the best yeah uh, that for me best argument about I mean, so islam is false because i believe that allah is pre-islamic god aka baal or allah i don't know i don't know arabic but i think he's uh the moon god yeah uh, but, yeah, yeah but this is this arabia is, this is going a step because you, you know uh, 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 i you know you, you can say okay he's a pre-god but you know what? Uh, Allah is the Creator. He's from the beginning. Yeah. So what? No. This is this is. They can refute it easy. They can say this is not true. However, uh, uh, to prove to them that Allah is the Moon God, there's other way. As an example, if you go to chapter Yasin, chapter thirty-six, verse number one. Chapter thirty-six, verse number one. 
it says ya sin why it says ya sin ya is a word mean god sin is the name of the god that is other name of allah if you go check in, in google you will find that sin is other name of the moon god al la is the name of the god of muslims but it's not one word al al mean uh, god the same as the word ya the same as the word ya so ya is coming from the egyptian language uh, uh, and the sin which mean, mean the moon god is the name of the moon god that's why actually today in english we say uh, this is sin uh, what, what do you mean we mean this is pagan from the time where people used to worship the paganism the moon god so the god of islam is sin the god of islam is la in order to prove the the la you can go right now here it says bismillahir rahmanir rahim allah if you go to chapter one in the quran verse number two you will find that the second verse for the word allah does not look the same as allah here the muslim they try to make it a grammar and etc this is false the reason is not a grammar you cannot take letters out of the name of god because it's a name i cannot let i cannot take the letter m from the first name of muhammad if i take it that will make it hamad that's a different name so uh, uh, or i cannot take it from uh, any name the name you cannot take it you cannot change it but because it is two words to connected so now here we have allah here we have li lah alhamdu li lah li in arabic mean two la is the name of the god of islam and la, you can go check it out in, in, in Google. It is the moon god. It's just another name. However, I advise you uh, uh, not to go for here unless because you don't know the language and they can play around with it. If you speak the language, then you can get them busted easy. But if you don't know the language, avoid those issues and focus on how stupid the Quran and how Allah can be God, yet he can think the sun set in murky water and how Muhammad confirmed this explanation or how he think the sun move every day from the east to the west, which is a proof that the Quran does not know uh, anything about the creation of the universe, or how the baby is made, or how uh, all those kind of mistakes. You can watch, you can read my books. I have a long list of them. All right. Okay, CP. Thank you, bro. You're welcome. God bless you. Again, I say Jesus Christ loves you guys. Accept him as your Lord and right. Savior. Goodbye, guys. Have a nice day. Thank you again, CP. God Thank bless you. you. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Go ahead, Nadine. <laughs> Are you there, Nadine? I'm sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, yesterday, I Googled um, every Quran verse that mentions Isa or Jesus, and I came across through the Maryam, chapter 19, verse 33. Are you familiar with that? Go ahead. Um, it says that this is supposed to be Jesus speaking, and it says that uh, Allah gave me peace on the day I was born, the day that I die, and the day that I will be brought back to life again. All right. And I was just curious if you'd ever, you, if you're familiar with that, because that was kind of like a boom uh, verse for me. I've never, I've never heard of it. Yeah, actually, those verses have something unique about them. Uh, because the word salam which means peace uh, there's two verses in the quran uh, it says almost the same thing chapter 19 verse number 15 salamun alayhi yawma wurida wa yawma yamut wa yawma yub'ath wa hayya if we click in it we will see that this is talking about john the baptist muhammad he hijacked john the baptist but you will notice here it says, so peace on him on the day he was born, the day he dies, and the day he will be raised up to life. If you go to the verse about Jesus, which is uh, uh, 33, oh, hold on. It is Jesus talking saying peace be on me in the day i i am born 
the day I die and the day I am resurrected or rise alive. So here there is something very bad for the Muslims because right. it is not Allah saying to Jesus, peace on you. It is Jesus says, peace on me. And remember, mm -hmm. such, a, such, a, such a promise is only can be given from God. So if Jesus can give himself such a promise, not this is not the, the God of Islam talking. This is Jesus saying, peace on me. The day I'm born, the day, etc. So Jesus here is giving peace to himself and the only one who can do that is God. If the Muslim saying, no, this is about God, he gave him that. Well, it should be the same as the previous verse. Where, why the previous verse says, Peace be on him the day he was war, born, about, you know, John the Baptist. But here it says, peace on me. So here Jesus is talking about himself, and he is the one giving peace into himself. Why? Because he is the king of peace, and he is born with it, for he have it and he own it. So Yeah, that's my thing. It's like he says that he's... You know, he mentions himself the day that I die, but Muslims don't believe that he died. He also mentions that he's going to be brought back to life. Muslims don't believe he's brought back to life. This is in the Quran, so I'm kind of confused on it. Yeah. So How this is really this is another other problem in the in the religion of Islam. Uh, but again, you know, the Quran uh, uh, people they can avoid those issues by not knowing the language. You know, if you know the language. Right. Uh, uh, you know, you can find out right away. Like those two verses, almost copy paste of each other. If you look, it's almost the same. That the only difference is the way it's speaking about John. It says, "Peace on him, the day he was born, the day he died, the, the day he will." Actually, you know what? There's a mistake here, by the way. I, I don't know if you, you speak Arabic, Adi. I do not. All right, so. Can you translate for us here what this is mean? Uh, I'm on Discord. I can't see your screen. You see, you see my screen? No, it's just on the screen. Right. Wheel it, on says, it, see, you know? it says, It says, Wayo Mayamut. The day he will die. Well, isn't it John the Baptist already dead? <laughs> you know? Like, you see. Well, you, you uh, Yoma, uh, Yoma is in the past. You know this? If anyone who knows yeah. Arabic, you know right away you know this. This is in the past, past tense. So peace on him the day he was born, and the day that he dies. This not what it says. the day he will die, not the day he dies. Did he die already or not? So this is a mistake in Arabic. And the day he will be resurrected, well, this is accepted because supposedly resurrection of day never happened yet. So this is other mistake in the in the Quran regarding John the Baptist. But the difference between between this verse and the other verse, this one is speak. God is giving blessing to John the Baptist on the day he was born, and the day he dies, and the day he is raised. And the other one, Jesus is giving peace to himself. Nobody else, and no, you know, you cannot, you cannot give that yourself unless you're God. I can't say peace on me unless I am the one who own peace. I am the king of peace. I am the, I am the peacemaker. You know, right? You would be a very special person. <laughs> yeah, you have to be God. You have to be God in order to do it. You know, you cannot do it. Yeah, uh, you know, this is why Jesus he says, uh, uh, you know, a peace I give you, right? In the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. So why he can give us peace? Because he's God. Because he is God. I, I'm, I, am, I cannot give peace. I cannot promise peace to anyone. I can't promise peace to myself. I don't know. I might go and get out and get killed. So peace and, right. the, and the peace the Lord he provides is not about just you. Because we know that we live in this earth. And we can get hurt. Right. And the Christians can get hurt. But the peace we are talking about is uh, uh, the, the peace of the soul. The, po the peace of the spirit. The peace of uh, you will you will not be under under the command of Satan. However, even in the case of Jesus in the Quran, we can say as long as the Muslim believe that the Messiah nobody can touch him. When he said peace upon me, that was a physical peace. 
which means Jesus just said, nobody can touch me, nobody can kill me. The, so peace on me the day I'm born, uh, the day I am I die. And here there's a problem, by the way, the day I die. You know? The day I die. Yeah. I thought he didn't die for it. Yeah. We have uh, more Muslims, I guess. Who was first here, Zubair or... I appreciate this, people. Thank you, Nadine. Thank you. Who was here first, uh, Zubair or... So, Christian Prince, uh, I have a question on Bible. You have a question? On Bible. About what? I have a question on Bible. Mute, 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 mute your YouTube. I have some question. Uh huh. Can I ask? Yeah, you can ask, but you know, you don't want to talk about your religion. Are you ashamed of your religion? Hello. Hello, hello. Are you ashamed of your religion? Hmm? Are you ashamed of your religion? I mean, you see the con you see the title of the of my topic. You see what we are talking about, and then you jump in the middle and says, "I have a question about the Bible," but our topic is about Islam. Do you know what the word Bible means? Why are you scared on? Do you know what the word? Bible Why are you scared? Uh... Let us see who is scared. Do you know what the Bible what the word Bible means? Why are you scared? Let us see who is scared. We are talking about the Bible. Do you know what the word Bible means? No, no, because because of uh, because, Jesus said in the Bible. Okay, do you know what the word Torah mean? <laughs> no, no, brother, I am. Do you know? Do you know the word? Us. Do you know what the word Injil mean? What? The word Injil. Your God, He used the word Injil in the Quran. What that word mean? Let it be. Let it be. I have a question on Bible, brother. The if you dare to, brother. no, uh -huh. brother. Yeah, we are talking about the Bible, so we can. We need to see first how much you know. You don't even know what the name means. So don't you start with the name first? Do you know what Allah means? So what do you do, Abdul? Coming to me, shaking your head. No, brother, I have a question, brother, about the Bible, brother, but you know nothing about your religion. This is how foolish you Muslims are. You know zero about your religion, and you are coming to question other religion, thinking that they are bad, and you are right, but you know nothing about your own God. And your name is Zubair, which means a small, small penis. Two days ago, you came here, you were a small penis, and now you're still a small penis. I thought you're getting bigger. Are you there? Okay, go. Uh, DJ, are you there? Oh, can you hear me? I hear you, go ahead. Uh, since you and the previous guy were talking about the, the crucifixion of Jesus, uh -huh. uh, I wanted to ask you about uh, 355 if if the verse says uh, I will cause you to die you know <coughs> are you understand my question? are you understand uh, no I just want to ask you that all right so Allah supposedly uh, the word mutawafika which means causing your death I will cause you to die and then I will take you to me. So when the Muslim they say this is a, this is a statement here proving the Quran is to be stupid or or the Muslim understanding to be stupid, because the Muslim believe that Jesus was taken to heaven and he was alive, he will die later. But the verse here saying Allah will cause his death first and then he will take him up to heaven. The Muslim they fix that they say oh. Allah caused him to sleep and that is a uh, uh, that like the sleeping death this is one of the explanation 
but this is a contradiction because simply in fact if you read the, the, the translation you will see the word mutawafika which means causing your death is not shown in the translation at all it's only in Arabic this is a translation of Hilali Khan let us try a different one Arbery Let us see if it says that causing your death. Again, there is no death. Look, when God said to Jesus, I will take thee to me and I will raise thee to me, there is no death. But the word mutawafika is still here, which means causing your death. You're deceased. You're deceased. Do you see it? So in the Muslim translation, they hide it because that will contradict the whole story of Jesus. So you have to keep trying to find a translation giving little accuracy. So this is a second translation. Let's see Ahmad Ali. Maybe Ahmad Ali have little decency. Again, in Ahmad Ali, there is no mentioning of causing Jesus' death. When God said, Oh Jesus, I will take you to myself and exalt you, there is no death. Nothing, the word death is not here. Let us try another translation. Ahmad Raza Khan. Maybe Ahmad Raza Khan have little. Uh, huh? Look at this, guys, this guy. Oh, Isa, I will keep you alive till your full age. <laughs> and I raise you toward me. <laughs> So guys, it's not death until you're full age, full age. Uh -huh. So this guy trying to be smarter, supposedly. I think he is using Google Translation, maybe. You know? I mean, what a stupid religion. Uh, let us see a different translator. Um, community Allah. Allah said, Oh Jesus, I'm completing your Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm completing your life. Listen carefully. I'm completing your life. Hey, Assalamu alaikum, Wintor. How are you doing? Are you there, Wintor? Yeah, I'm here. How are you doing? What, uh, what completing your life mean? Maybe you can help us. What did you say? It says here in chapter 3, verse number 55, I am completing your life. Completing your life. That means... He's bringing him to 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 the heaven. Uh, completing your life means bringing him to heaven. Yeah, raising you to me. You know where Allah is. Allah is. No, no. The, the second part is raising you to me. I'm talking about completing your life. That means. Uh huh. I don't know. It's kind of tough to say. I know. It's horrible. It's stupid. It's not really like the Bible is super. You know, straightforward all the time. I thought you but are the understand. Quran is beautiful. Ah, yeah, I know the Quran ah, is perfect. The Quran and is beautiful because it's tough to understand what it's saying. It's beautiful. The Bible is straightforward, so it's not beautiful. Here, it's uh, it's it's beautiful. I just said it's not straightforward, bro. All the that. Bible is not straightforward. Oh, not straightforward. So this is what the Bible is not straightforward. Is it? The Bible says clearly, yeah. Jesus was resurrected. Here it says, uh, "Okay, I'm completing your life." What does that mean? Bro, can you like ask a Salafi instead of asking people on this? So what bro? are you? You are not Salafi. You are. You are. You are. You are uh, I'm not. I'm not a Salafi. No. I, I follow. I listen to him. I listen to him. But I can't like know everything. Like, do you, do, can you can you invite a Sheikh to join us? The big Sheikh, you know. I can invite. I can invite my uncle, my Imam. Why you don't? You know, they want to speak to you. Okay, go ahead. I could invite them. Sure, sure. No, yeah, I could. Go ahead. I can't do it now. I just have to. See them in person first, uh, probably Friday. Why you don't call them in the phone? Um, I don't have my. I'm not gonna call my imam. And uh, why not? I could I could call my uncle, but like he probably doesn't want to talk right now to you. Maybe like when I'm with him, I'll just call him. Call him. Let us hear to the conversation. Uh, ask him. Call him. Uh, put the speakers on. He can speak Arabic. He can okay. read Arabic. He can. Call, he can, call, he can, call him. He can tell you. Okay. Call him and put him on a speaker and ask him what this verse mean. Completing your life. What does that mean? I'm not gonna call him. That's random, bro. That's random. 
Okay. okay. You go, call him and come back. All right? Okay. All right. Okay, buddy. All right. As in the Quran says that there are like unclear verses that like you Yeah, the Quran is very clear. The Quran is very clear to the point the explanation and the explanation and then the explanation need explanation. And then the explanation of the explanation need explanation and still the Muslim cannot explain the explanation. You know? Yeah, that's why they use they have all the tafsirs, you know. Uh you know the the, the the Muslim when they say to you, we need to read the interpretation, you think you get the answer. You go to the interpretation. After reading the interpretation, you are more confused, way more than before. So the interpretation does not give you really answer. It like as an example, if we go now uh, uh, and uh, look at this as an example, not limited. <clears throat> chapter 60 verse number one verse number one it says only noon 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 here noon noon and the pen now to understand what noon mean let me show you what will happen <laughs> this is noon huh it's just noon we are not reading the whole chapter or the whole verse it's just noon Nothing more, nothing less. All right, let us see what noon is about. This is the first letter in the verse. From the narration of his, in his authority, Ibn Abbas, he said regarding the interpretation of Allah saying noon, noon, he says, Allah swear by noon, which is the will that carry the earth on its back while in the water and beneath which is the bowl and under the bowl there is a rock and under the rock there is a dust and none knows what is under the dust save Allah <laughs> the name of the whale is Lewish and it said its name is Lotaya the name of the bowl is Bahamut and some they say its name is Talahut or Liwana the whale is in the sea called Adwad and it is like a small bowl in a huge sea the sea in the Hollywood rock. Nearby there is 4,000 cracks. Muslim uh, head is full of cracks. Too much crack in, in hashish. And from each crack, water spring come from, out from the earth. It's also, now you think you get the answer, right? No. Look, hold, we continue. It's also said that noon is one of the name of Allah. Look at this. We start saying that noon is a whale carrying the earth in its back. Then the second interpretation possible that noon is one of the names of Allah, which means Allah is a whale. It stands for the letter noon from Allah Ar-Rahman, the beneficent. And also said, are we done? No. Noon is an inkwell. <laughs> you can read. I mean, this is the interpretation. To explain to you what Allah is saying. So after we read the interpretation, did we get the answer? No, I'm even more confused now. Uh, winter, Winter, I did not kick you out. You said you want to go and find the answer and come back. Okay, let me invite you. Put your hand up. Here we go. Winter is complaining that I kick him out. Okay, Winter, come here and tell us, uh, tell us about Mr. Noon. How your God Allah turned to be a whale. Don't tell me I, I kick you out. You said you want to go and kill, you know ask your uncle. I said, okay. Come back, come back here. I will invite you. I want you to tell everybody. You said you want to read the interpretation. This is the interpretation. Go ahead. This is your God. He's a whale. This is a book of God. And then this Abdullah from militia, he is going to teach you how to do dawah. <laughs> this guy who cannot read his, his prophet name correctly, he want to teach you how to do dawah. Potatoes. And by the way, if anyone know him, tell him a Christian prince. Or if you know when he go live, if you know when he go live, let me know. So we can do invasion. What do you think, guys? Do you like the invasion? If you know any time he want to go live, 
let me know in advance like because I, I might be sleeping you know because we have time differences right so you have to tell me like if he's casual let us say uh, tomorrow at 7 uh, you know uh, a.m. p.m. New York time just tell me when so we can prepare to go live and then we go do invasion and then we corner him in the spot and people would die laughing at him I do not need to prepare one question from him one question from me slap me first go ahead hit me hit me hit me you know hit me he will die laughing at himself the people will die laughing at him this guy he claimed to be knowledgeable all of them they are potatoes each time I do invasion to any one of them he have heart attack the last one it's called Dundee he claimed to have knowledge you know he's have a bicycle where you run away I went to his channel he says to me take off your skirt he's a homo he think everyone like him wearing a skirt Petitos. Bahama, Baham, Terranitas. But Muslims are happy, they look like they are laughing. Only on YouTube. You see them in the street, they look like they are possessed. I know, by the way, I noticed that Muslim women in Indonesia, they wear hijab everywhere. You go in the Middle East, Muslim women, they are showing their ass. Actually, once I, I I was walking in a place, a restaurant, I saw a bunch of guys, they know me. Hey, come sit with us, blah, blah, blah. I don't, you know, I mean, I just, you know, they didn't see me for long. So I sat with them, and there's a woman, she is sitting with them. I can see her panty, literally. And then they said, how are you doing these days? I said, I'm beating the hell of Muhammad. It turned to be that this woman, she is a Muslim. I said, what Muhammad? I said, the prophet of Islam. Said, oh, don't insult my prophet. And she opened her legs. I can see no, I can see more details now. Her panty, when she is sitting, if I say it's an inch, I'm not exaggerating. The second I mention the name of Muhammad, she is upset. Her breast is coming out. Her nipples, I can see them through the, 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 the blouse she is wearing. But she, don't insult my prophet, please. And she said, I'm going to leave if this guy talk about my prophet. She's getting hot. Man. And the guy, he grabbed her from her leg. He said, sit down. Come on. Don't take it easy. Take it easy. He's just joking. I said, I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm not. What you will do? Call her cousins. <laughs> you know? So look how they dress in, in uh, you know, go and see how they dress in the Middle East. Just type, type, just to show you how Muslims are. Those Muslims in Indonesia, they are. I mean, you go to Indonesia, the whole country be, be, become, be, be, and I mean, nightclub, etc. And, and those are religious people, supposedly. Look, look, she is wearing hijab. She is very decent women. But God knows how many husbands has her already. Perfect women. You know, Aisha, she was teaching the guy how to clean his semen. The guy was masturbating in her bedroom, in the bedroom of the Prophet of Allah. Are you better than Aisha? Aisha, she sent little girls so she can hunt boys from Quraysh. She can sleep with them. Aisha, she was accused by a Muslim that she was sleeping with the guy his name Safwan ibn Mu'attal. But anyway, clothing is what they left from Islam the second you ask those guys any question about Islam you will see they are desperate to him they cannot answer do we have any Muhammadan Erasing all our sins bring peace eternally In Christ we find an unshakable hope Our rock, our foundation, helping us to go So let us lift our voices high in praise and worship Let our spirits fly For in Christ 
Nothing can destroy